Hello again. A few drops of the old liquid sunshine already, but I'm not out for long today. I'll explain why. Sorry. See, my son has come back off his holiday a couple of days ago and has announced today, on a Thursday, he's coming around instead of Sunday. I don't know exactly what time yet, which is why I could get an announcement at any time that he's arrived and I need to cut back up and make sure everything's sorted out for my grandson and that, which is fine. Not a problem. So a bit earlier out today, and like I say, not going quite so far or quite such an adventurous walk, because I am expecting at any random time I have to sort of divert back up home. Let's start off with the then and now, shall we? Here we go. I think I'm lining up pretty well as it is. Now, this is apparently 1939. And because um, I've double checked my facts on that, I thought it was um, newer, but apparently it's 1939 and it's here flooding in the triangle. You'll notice over there there's a cafe sign, which is the Kenya Coffee House, as was very popular. Apparently, they blew the coffee smell out into the street. And um, just getting a message on my thing saying something to do with it's going to be coming up soon. <laughs> right, so anyway, here's the picture. I say that was that was um 1939 all good with the ubiquitous seagull right there on top looking for chips oh yes coasters and the view back down the triangle Good job we don't get flooding anymore, isn't it? Unfortunately, I've already had to put my hat on. It doesn't bode too well, does it? But I don't want the splashes of it getting on my glasses. Otherwise it's okay really, it's quite warm. And there we are, up on the seafront. We'll be up a den carriageway anyway. Where the um, Victorian shelter was taken down and never restored. Quite a calm sea for a change, by the look of things. Should get some nice sounds of the waves with the wind blocker off. Peaceful under the pier. And this is our beach again. Marvellous. birds running around up there and here we are at the bottom of the forbidden steps with the barriers at the top which we're going to take anyway 
because that's kind of what we're like. Oh yeah. And the drips are starting now, the liquid sunshine, as you can see on the steps. Marvellous. Let's get somewhere under cover. The inflatables are still up because the rain doesn't deter them, it's just the wind. The trees should afford some shelter for a moment or two. And of course there's the Royal Court, was the Royal Hotel, which was sold at a certain point or other. I've actually got a newspaper cutting I think. I'll pop it in if I can find it, dig it out, wasn't planning to do it today, but as it's raining and I'm stood here, why not? Well, it hasn't stopped completely, but I've decided to risk it for a biscuit, as they say, and head off. Some work being done on the front of the cinema. Not quite sure what, but there's a couple of scaffolds up. We'll zoom in on those in a moment. There we go, scaffold number one in the far corner. And scaffold number two near the front. And a chap there doing something to one of the windows. Might be painting it. I can't really tell from here, but when I look back on a 4K big screen, I'll be able to see what he's doing. <laughs> I'll wander back up towards the seafront again. As I say, a little bit of an aimless walk today. No real direction, just a wander. But it's really because I'm expecting any minute the phone to give me a message and say, I'm here. And then I go, right, he's there. And that's the end of the video. Really calm water though. And some paddle boarding slash canoeing going on in the distance up there, along with a little bit of swimming activity right here. There they are, quite far out. How far out? That far out. Braver men than I, Gunga Din. Braver men than I. I don't want to jinx it, but a yellow thing popped up in the sky for a few seconds just now. Hmm, 21, yeah. Quintessentially British weather, yes, of course. There we are, a little bit of sunshine to illuminate the raindrops on the quad. Next to Magnus's mallet and Captain America, who's in a bit of a funny position, but he's okay. Then we've got the open top bus running today as it knocks me over and we're back to the triangle again A few more people seem to have appeared from somewhere, along with a few more seagulls. Delightful light spiritual shop.
crystals, jewellery and stuff. There's a new camping place. Papa Dom's health food. And picture this framing, which is a picture framing shop. Thai Smile Cafe. Recently opened where the fishmongers used to be. And the post office up ahead. Just there. Of course that building over there used to be NatWest Bank. They closed, now it's Smarter Accounting. And looking down the opposite way behind me, the building on this corner used to be the Midland HSBC Bank. Now in 1969, that flooded as well. Noisy bus. As I was trying to say, back in 1969, this was the Midland Bank, and um, sorry, mate. this was the Midland Bank, and it was flooded. Here you go. Here's a picture. There we go. Same picture. Now continuing up towards Orchard Gardens. Something I never tend to mention because I sort of forget about it. But up over here, we've got the Spiritual Church, or Timoth Spiritualist Church. Now, someone called Debs in my comments asked me if I would do a video where I walked from Mules Park to the Spiritual Church. And the answer was yes, but I couldn't really see how to fit it into a video. So rather than just like not do anything or just, you know, fobber off, I think what I'll do now is I'll do a little shot of the Spiritual Church itself. Here we go, Tim, a spiritualist church. There's your info. And I'm going to assume it's down there. Yes, yeah, so there we go. Just down the side here. Tim, a spiritualist church. Number 14. I don't know if you can read that or not. I can't quite make it out myself from here, in all fairness. Well, that's a spiritualist church for Debs, who does tarot readings. And this is where it's located in Orchard Gardens, right here. And as we're just doing random things that we don't do every day, we'll do a walk down Clampet Lane. And there we go, that was Clampet Lane. Still standing, and here we are on the other side of Pothole Street, taking in the views of some of the best potholes in town. A perfectly good curated collection of potholes, all in one place, so you don't have to spend time looking for them. And plan your pothole trip to Timmouth soon. Booking's being taken now. There we have Thomas Looney House. Still in the process of having its work done. And as the liquid sunshine appears to have abated somewhat, and traditional yellow sunshine is replacing it, and I've managed to take my hat off now, so I'm not feeling quite so constricted, I think we'll find a way around to the fish key. Oh yes, there's the docks. Entrance to Polly's Steps, of course. But we're not going there today.
starting to head up back towards home now quite a nice little wander but it is an aimless wander I think and I'm looking forward to seeing my son that picture has been there for years and nobody has ever painted over it with graffiti so it must be a picture that is liked by the graffiti people a lovely floral display As someone pointed out to me, admired around the world by this channel because I've got viewers all over the place in Jamaica, in Canada, in America, etc. So hello to all my foreign viewers. Glad you enjoyed little Tim so much. As I often say, even the more modest displays are worth my attention. Lovely. All right, trip across the den to visit the facilities is in order well that's lightened the load considerably <laughs> and just remembered i've got to get bananas i've got to get bread i've got to get milk so a trip to little is in order on my way home now not having or ever used an electric vehicle per se i'm not quite sure how it's supposed to work but um let's just say you've got your electric vehicle you want to come down you want to charge up What's to stop the non-electric vehicles being parked right in front? Obviously some, some system that I'm absolutely just not aware of, but it does seem a little bit... I guess I'll know when it's in full operation. There's some flowers, the gift that keeps on giving. Beautiful wild flowers. Lovely. And so we find ourselves heading back up towards Orchard Gardens and the spiritual church we looked at earlier in order to follow the road around and arrive at Lidl's oh yes I know I stop and film this from time to time but I do like it it's a little face above the door there you so go. they got these all along the doors here but for some reason that's the only one it's painted all the others are just normal white Always catches me eye. Yay, Lidl's! And as I come out of Lidl's, the uh, liquid sunshine is in full effect, so I've had to put my hat on to make sure I don't get too sunburnt. And um, yes, even though it doesn't look too bad, it's started to rain again. So I'm going to home see my son. See you tomorrow, same time, same place. Thanks for watching. Bye. Train. Right, that really is it. Bye.